Hey everyone, this is Steamway27. Let's go kill a giant three-headed dog, please. Where am I? <clears throat> there we go. The place I didn't go up to is where the boss is. Hey, hey, Trevor. Close the door, please. Thank you. Have a nice roommate. Okay. This is Cerberus, a three-headed dog. Although you can only see two heads. He has two attacks. A charging attack, two cloud bubble things that shoot lightning, and a giant laser attack. This game, this, ow. When he turns red, he's going to charge at you. Oh my god. The holy water makes made this fight a lot easier. If you can hit them with it, which I am failing to do. Use the fire whip and the holy water and you'll be set. For the first boss, it's relatively easy. And there you go. It didn't take too long, and because of the holy water, it was a lot easier. Just imagine if I had a knife. The knife sucks, everyone. The knife sucks. And for beating Cerberus, we get a small heart. But more importantly, the double. Or the double necklace. Easy enough to see what this does. You can double jump. The second jump is a little glowy. The choice of items that they give you in the beginning is just really smart because both the dash boots and the double jump are relatively easy to get and they let you move around a lot faster than you normally would, which makes the whole dungeon crawling experience a lot less annoying and dungeon crawly. Now that we have the double jump, we can reach places that we weren't able to before. And no! No! My knife! There we go. I mean, did I say my knife? I don't like the knife. I like the potion. We'll get something better soon. And as you can tell, the item you get from each boss will help you get to the next boss. In this case, the double jump will lead us to the next, the second boss of the game. Where am I? There I am. Okay. Since I got my ass whipped, I'm just gonna heal up. And save, because I don't want to do that again. It was easy, but I don't want to do it again. Ugh, stop that. So how's everyone? It's Friday, and school's out. Well, for some of you anyway. I know people like me can get out of class at like 1, because college is awesome like that. But whatever. Monday is two days away, and it's not coming anytime soon. So sit back and relax. Alright, uncharted areas. Ow. Curse you, mud man. Stop that. That's the thing about spirits. They'll just get in your way and keep you from jumping to places you want to. But other than that, they're fine. Oh, how did I miss this? Well, anyway. Double jump up here. And you'll... Hold on. This is what I mean by overpower. They'll just get annoying. Nice, a level up. Ow. 
Man, look at all these spirits. Die, spirit! You don't belong in this world. And with the double jump, you'll get a heart's max increase. Awesome. That's one more potion we can throw. Up, oh, gotta ah, oh, I gotta keep talking, man. Keep talking. This is what you're playing the game for, so you can talk and tell people about how good it is. <sighs> what I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably going to go and find another Earth Demon and beat the living crap out of it, so that I can get its card, the Serpent card, because I, I've decided that I probably want to show things that you can do with the serpent card. The serpent card is ice elemental and it lets you freeze things with certain card combinations like serpent mercury allows you to use the ice whip and you can freeze certain enemies in the air even though they're frozen they should totally fall they'll still levitate so you can reach areas you're not normally able to so I'm just gonna go and find an earth demon and beat the living snot out of it. It shouldn't take too long but uh, let's let's make this faster. Get it. Hey, get down here. Is that doing more damage? It's doing three more damage. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go and sequence break this. I'll come back and record when I have the serp ser serpent card. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm back, and I finally got the Serpent card. It took me about 10 minutes. I leveled up between then and got about 4 magic gauntlets that I don't need. Let's move on. Well, not without showing it, though. The Mercury and Serpent card allows you to use the Ice Whip. It's quicker than the normal whip. Makes your... Ooh, that was kind of weird. Notice the blue number in front of the Strength. 124. Now, when I take off the DSS, it becomes 175 again. This is because the serpent combination weakens your whip. Now you're wondering, why would I want this to weak why would I want a weaker whip? Because you can do this. You can freeze enemies and then cause them to be used as platforms. This becomes especially useful later on when you're trying to do wall climbing. Wall climbing. Of course, frozen enemies, when you kill enemy with this, you can't kill enemies with this whip unless they're frozen. No, no, bad knife. Here's a perfect example. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? You weren't here last time. It's some bad, weird lag here for some reason. Now, if you had the serpent card beforehand, you could use the skeleton armor to jump up here. Oh, here we have another new enemy, Slime. They drop another card called the Venus card. Why am I still using this? Eat potion. What is going on here? Is this area so big that I can't like... There must be so many objects on the screen I can't like... The video software can't handle it or something. Obviously. Oh boy. Oh. Um, I'm gonna get this. This is the axe. It takes two hearts, and you can throw an ar arc motion axe. Similar to the axe from the first game. Get an MP max. Alright. Alright, up here is the challenge. Turn on your ice whip, and attack these brain... Some, uh, float eyes. That's right. They're called floaties. Float eyes. The double jump makes this a lot easier. You might want to wait if you're not good at the platforming game. Is that, At the platforming game. Oh, the one's not good. Brain float, okay. Good thing is, about the game, is that you can't kill enemies that you froze. Unless you hit them again while they're frozen. So when they thaw out, they won't die if you hit them again. So basically, these guys are just sitting around 1 HP and they can't do anything. That was close. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Come on, there we go. Double jump. And walk away to grab your prize in HP max. Which is good because I needed that.
Now that slime, it can drop another DSS card, an action card called Venus, and that'll cause a whole new combination of steps. But we're not going to do that right now, because there's an easier place to farm the slime, like where I farm the Earth Demon, and we're going to try something else. Gonna run on through these guys. And here we go. Everyone, welcome to the Abyss Stairway. With a lot, with a new soundtrack. Which I think is a lot more lively until you go down here and find another one. Where are we? Oh, we've already been here. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. That was the room with the mummies. Let's see. The abyss stairway is just stairway is just what you think it is, a stairway. Can't go this way apparently. That is a okay. The abyss stairway is a big jerk. There's a lot of hidden walls, and I won't be finding any of them. Not today, anyway. Anyway, if you want to proceed, go to the left side. I just wanted to show the right side because I wanted to let you know, the mummy room. No, I'm not picking you up. The mummy room leads into the abyss stairway. What are you doing in here? Get out of my room. I'm talking to you. You're Shriver. Get out of here, Shriver. Bye bye. Yes, he is. Alright, new enemy after that huge distraction. The axe armor. Shoots a boomerang kind of axe. Shoots a boomerang. Ah, blah. It shoots a boomerang. Enough said. And am I gonna fall to a... That's what I thought. Oh, I did it. Go to the other side of that axe armor and hold hard left and you'll get an HP max that you couldn't normally reach before. Because there's this big huge space that you can't normally go through. The stairway itself is pretty bland. Now, the th good thing about axe armors is they'll drop... Any kind of armor enemy will typically drop an armor for you to equip. In this case, the axe armor drops leather armor. The axe armor also drops the Mandagora card. Something else I might want to farm later, but not now, because it would take too long. Actually, wait a minute. Do I want to? Is this a good area to do that? It's just... I, I kill it, and... And then what, I can leave, kill it, come back? Yeah, I can, okay. I'm gonna sequence break this and kill an axe armor. <sighs> okay, I got the card. The truth is, I got this card already once. But I set the thing to be, when I leave the window for Visual Boy Idle, I left it so that it kept going and I didn't pick up the card before then. And someone interrupted me while I was doing this. And then as I was telling them off, the card disappeared, so I had to do this all over again. So, it took like 50 armors, I had to kill them like 50 times in order to get this card. I got it. <sighs> Thank God. Mandagra card, when combined with Mercury, creates the Rose Whip. It's got a little Rose Petal effect. It's a little shorter, I think, than the Hunter Whip, but it's got a nice attack boost. There's got to be a better way to get these things. It takes too long. Well, there will be. Luck affects item drops. If you have an item that increases luck or a stat or a DSS card that increases your luck, you can use that and it'll... What is this thing? Can't whip it. Can't dash it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, as I was saying, luck affects the item drop. So if you have items that affect luck, or DSS card combinations that affect luck, because, well, there are... They do that. There are some that do that. And I'll show you them later. Next time. After grueling, super awesome, axe-killing action. Oh, god dang. I leveled up, like, twice during that. 